hi again upon request. I'm just doing another question with the sigma notation and trigonometry. So it's n pi over four. So I'm putting this down for you, the 45 degree triangle, which is four, pi over four. That's what the 45 is. And also y equals cos theta. And we'll need this graph to interpolate some of the answers. So there we go. So first of all, we have to expand this. And to expand this, I'm going to sub in from n equals 2 to 6 into n here. And I'm going to write the series because sigma notation, as all of you know, give me a series. And that means find the sum of this series from the term when n equals 2 to n equals 6. So first thing, I'm just going to go cos 2 pi over 4. I'm subbing 2 for n and then plus sub n three for n and that's going to be three pi over four plus cos four pi over four plus cos five pi over four and plus cos six pi over so four so we we did all the way from two to six i'm going to simplify a little bit here so cos, that's going to be pi over 2. That's just going to stay as cos 3 pi over 4. Plus, this is going to reduce to cos pi. And that's just going to stay as cos 5 pi over 4. And this here is just going to be cos 3 pi over 2. So now let's deal with the easy ones first. Uh, first of all, cos pi over two, just here, cos pi over two is zero. I'm gonna leave this for a little bit and then cos pi, because I could just interpolate from the graph here, cos pi is negative one. And after that, I'm just gonna leave cos five pi over four for a second. That's five pi over four, sorry. And then cos 3 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2 is right here. So that's 0 as well. So that's being gone. And then I still have cos 3 pi over 4 here. So we have 0. 0, that's canceled. We have negative 1 there. So now let's find cos 3 pi over 4. So if we want to find cos 3 pi over 4, we know 3 pi over 4 will happen to be right in the second quadrant because that's pi right there and that's zero. And so pi is the same as four pi over four. That's a common denominator. So three pi over four will be in the second quadrant. And the reference angle for three pi over four would be pi over four, which is the 45. And so if we do one cos of 45, we'll get one over two. But the only thing is you have to remember that all the students take calculus. So since we're doing cos 3 pi over 4 and we're in the second quadrant, the cosine is negative in the second quadrant. So this will give me negative 1 over root 2. And this is going to be plus minus 1. So just minus 1. And then we have plus. How about cos 5 pi over 4? 5 pi over 4 will be right in this quadrant right here. And therefore, the reference angle. So that's 5 pi over 4 right there. And the reference angle here will be also pi over 4. And so you go to pi over 4, find out what the cos is. It's 1 over 2. And since that, only the tan is positive here, so the cos is also negative. So we'll have negative 1 over root 2. And therefore, now, the common denominator is root 2. This is over 1. So we'll end up with negative 1 minus. And since this here has a one on the bottom, so I, I, I have to divide the bottom by root two and whatever I get, I multiply it to the top. Whatever way you do in the common denominator, that's what I do. So here I'm going to get negative root two and then plus and minus one is going to be negative one because they have the same common denominator there. And therefore, this will be negative two minus root two 
over root two. And if you want to rationalize the denominator, then you just multiply top and bottom by root two over root two, which equals negative two root two minus root two times root two just gives me two here. And the bottom will be two because root two times root two is just two. Now, you know, you could, I'm just going to take this right here to give you the final answer. Because all of them have twos, now you could reduce the twos and you'll end up with negative root two minus one as your final answer. Because negative two root two divided by two is just going to give you negative root two and negative two divided by two here is just going to give you negative one. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye-bye.